We are church planters. For a seed to break through the ground, before it even get through the ground, it has to break through a seed coat. So it's going to go through something because if you, if you don't go through something, you don't really show the authenticity of your calling. Like there's more to do in the city. Yeah. There's more people to reach. You have to have a vision that's bigger than where you're, that's where you're at or else you're not going to be God dependent. Yeah, God dependent. Well, I think there's that great question. It's like, are you nervous? And the right answer should be no. I'm only nervous when I'm thinking about myself. Yeah. Preaching to me now is just what you're saying. This is not about you. And if it's going to be about you, it's going to be this small. It's going to have an yeah. impact. That season was just a setup. You're stretching and you're serving um, for the eventual launch. I don't know yeah, when that yeah. launches one day. I yeah, don't know yeah. when that slingshot's gonna hit. Yeah. But you just serve and you yeah. learn for that season. When you begin to understand that God has a redemptive purpose out of your pain, preach that. I can't <laughs> up one side the church and down the other, man. But it, you know, it really is true that purpose really propels you through the valley. Sure. And it also gives you some kind of a beacon of hope. But we're not going to sacrifice the truth of God's Word for the sake of being attractional. More and more, especially right now, we've got to be more committed yeah. to the authority of God's Word, unchanging. Yeah. We change, God doesn't. Like, we would have planted in the wrong spot. We would have planted with the wrong wow. people. We would, I mean, we would have done everything backwards if it wasn't for those pastors. I want to take this part of the recording. Just play a clip of it over <laughs> and over again. There's just a lot we can learn from each other. 